Today we will be reading The Butter Battle Book by Dr. Seuss. On the last day of summer, 10 hours before fall, my grandfather took me out to the wall. For a while, he stood silent. Then finally he said, with a very sad shake of his very old head. As you know, on this side of the wall, we are Yooks. On the far other side of the wall live the Zooks. Then my grandfather said, it's high time that you knew of the terribly horrible thing that Zooks do. In every Zook house and in every Zook town, every Zook eats his bread with the butter side down. So see here, that's their bread. Their butter is on the bottom side. But we yucks, as you know, when we bre breakfast or sup, spread our bread, Grandpa said. With the butter side up, that's the right, honest way. Grandpa gritted his teeth. So you can't trust a zook who spreads bread underneath. Every zook must be watched. He has kinks in his soul. That's why, as a youth, I made watching my goal, watching Zooks for the Zook Watching Border Patrol. Yooks are not Zooks. Keep your butter side up. In those days, of course, the wall wasn't so high, and I could look any Zook square in the eye. If he dared to come close, I could give him a twitch with my tough, tufted, prickly snake berry switch. For a while, that worked fine. All the Zooks stayed away, and our country was safe. Then, one terrible day, a very rude Zook by the name of Van Itch snuck up and slingshotted my snickberry switch. With my broken off switch, with my head hung in shame, to the chief Yukaru in great sorrow I came. But our leader just smiled. He said, you're not to blame. And those Zooks will be sorry they started this game. We'll dress you right up in a fancier suit. We'll give you a fancier slingshot to shoot. And he ordered the boys in the back room to figure how to build me some sort of triple sling jigger. With my triple sling jigger, I felt, sure felt much bigger. I marched to the wall with great vim and great vigor. Right up to Van Itch with my hand on the trigger. I'll have no more nonsense, I said with a frown. From Zooks who eat bread with the butter side down. Van Itch looked quite sickly. He ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say, he came back the next day in a spiffy new suit with a big new machine, and he snarled as he said, looking frightfully mean. You may fling those hard rocks with your triple sling jigger, but I also now have my hand on a trigger. My wonderful weapon, the jigger rock snatch'em, we'll fling em right back just as quick as we catch em. We'll have no more nonsense, we'll take no more gup. From you yooks who eat bread with the butter side up. I have failed, sir. I sobbed as I made my report to the chief yookaroo in the headquarters fort. He just laughed. You've done nothing at all of the sort. Our slingshots have failed. That was old-fashioned stuff. Slingshots, dear boy, are not modern enough. All we need is some newfangled kind of gun. My boys in the back room have already begun to think up a wall, a wall thing, wizarding or one. My bright boys are thinking they're on the right track. They'll think one up quick and we'll send you right back. They thought up a great one. They certainly did. They thought up a gun called a Kickapoo Kid, which they loaded with powerful Pooh-a-Doo powder and ants' eggs and bees' legs, 
in dried fried clam chowder. And they carefully trained a real smart dog named Daniel to serve as our country's first gun-toting spaniel. Then Daniel, the Kickapoo Spaniel, and I marched toward the wall with our heads held up high while everyone cheered and their cheers filled the sky. Fight, fight for the butter side up, do or die. Well, we didn't do, and we didn't quite die, but we sure did get worsted, poor Daniel and I. Van Itch was there too, and he said, the old pig, the boys in my back room invented this rig called the eight-nozzled elephant toted boom blitz. It shoots high explosive sour cherry stone pits, and I will put your dumb kickapoo kid on the fritz. Poor Daniel and I were scared out of our wits. Once more, by then itch I was bested and beat. Once again, I limped home from the wall in defeat. I dragged and I sagged, and my spirits were low, as low as I thought that they ever could go. When I heard a boom ba and a diddle dee deal, and our butter up band marched up over the hill, the chief yookery had sent them to meet me, along with the right side up song girls to greet me. They sang, O oh, be faithful, believe in thy butter, and they lifted my spirits right out of the gutter. My boy, smiled the chief Yukaru. We've just voted and made you a general. You've been promoted. Your pretty new uniform's ready. Get in it. The big war is coming. You're going to begin it. And what's more, this time you are certain to win it. My boys in the back room have finally found how. Just wait till you see what they've puttered up now. In their great new machine, you'll fly over that wall and clobber those butter down zooks one and all. Those boys in the back room sure knew how to putter. They made me a thing called the utterly sputter. And I jumped aboard with my heart all a flutter and steered toward the land of the upside down butter. This machine was so modern, so frightfully new. No one knew quite exactly just what it would do. But it had several faucets that sprinkled blue goo, which somehow would sprinkle the zooks as I flew and gum up that upside down butter they chewed. I was racing pell-mell when I heard a voice yell, if you sprinkle us zooks, you'll get sprinkled as well. Ben Itch had a sputter exactly like mine, and he yelled, my blue gooer is working just fine. And I'm here to say that if yutz can goo zooks, you'd better forget it cause zooks can goo yutz. I flew right back home, and as you may have guessed, I was downright despondent, disturbed, and depressed. And I saw, just as soon as I stepped back on land, so were all of the girls of the Butter Up Band. The chief drum majorette, Miss Yuki and Sue, said that was a pretty sour flight that you flew, and the chief yukaru has been looking for you. I raced to his office, the place was a sight. Have no fear, said the chief, everything is all right. My bright back room boys have brighter than bright. They've thought up a gadget that's newer than new. Me. It is filled with mysterious moo like a moo and can blow all those zooks clear to Salamag goo. They've invented the bitsy big boy boomeroo. You just run to the wall like a nice little man. Drop this bomb in the zooks just as fast as you can. I have ordered all yooks to stay safe underground while the bitsy big boy Boomeroo is all around. As I raced for that wall with the bomb in my hand, I noticed that every last yook in our land was obeying our chief yookero's grim command. They were all bravely marching with banners of flutter down a hole for the country and right side up butter.
That's when Grandfather found me. He grabbed me, he said, you should be down that hole and you're up here instead. But perhaps this is all for the better somehow. You will see me make history right there, right now. Grandpa leapt up that wall with a lopulous leap, and he cleared his horse throat with a bopulous beep. He screamed, here's the end of that terrible town full of zooks who eat bread with the butter side down. And at that very instant, we heard a clup clup of feet on the wall and old Van Itch clupped up. The boys in his back room had made him one too. In his fist was another big boy boomerang. I'll blow you, he yelled, into pork and wee beans. I'll butter side up you to small smithereens. Grandpa, I shouted, be careful. Oh, gee, who's going to drop it? Will you or will he? Be patient, said Grandpa. We'll see. We will see. So do you guys think they ever dropped it? I don't know.